Hey, I'm Albert from Muffin Group and from now on I will be making a video tutorials about the bee theme and the bee builder. If you have any feedback about this video or just want me to make a tutorial about something you don't know how to use, feel free to leave me a comment and I will do my best to help you. Ok, so let's move on to the topic. In this video I want to focus on the new bee theme dashboard. If you already installed version 26.5 and you will go to the BFIM dashboard section, you're gonna see completely new, fresh and reorganized dashboard. We did it with the best UX practices in mind to provide you way much better workflow. Uh, so what you're gonna find in the BFIM dashboard, you're gonna find some information like if the theme is up to date or not, uh, you will find the blue box with uh, our new setup wizard that I'm gonna explain in the other video. And next to it, uh, there is a slider where we'll be informing about the crucial updates and the features added in the BFIM. Uh, below that, we have a section with latest pre-built websites. And below that, uh, we've got some other informations like team registration, um, issues with server configuration and some information about BFIM most important integrations like HubSpot, WPML or the toolset. Okay, let's move to the second tab, which is plugins. And in this uh, tab, we're gonna find an information about the plugins uh, that comes with the BFIM. You can decide if you want to uh, maybe install them or disable or maybe make an update. So whatever you need with the plugins built in into BFIM, you can do from this section. In the next tab, websites, uh, you can find uh, all pre-built websites included into BFIM and you can sort them by categories like layouts, subjects, uh, or you can just type whatever you want in the search field like for example business and you're gonna see all the pre-built websites that are related with the keyword you've typed in. Let's hop into the next tab which is theme options. Uh, this section is probably well known for most of you. It has been just a little bit uh, redesigned uh, to fit uh, the general look of the new dashboard but most options probably all all the options are in the same places uh, but the most important thing I will be talking about in the other video is that we've moved this theme options to the live B builder so there is no need to switch between the backend and frontend to make some changes like uh, the global changes, for example, colors, uh, paddings, margins, etc. The last tab, which is maintenance, uh, have a drop down menu uh, because we need to split some uh, tabs uh, by features. So the first one is the setup wizard. Uh, this is the one I'm going to explain in the other video. And the next one is system status, where you can find all details about your server environment or WordPress settings. Uh, the next one is manual and support tab, where you will find all necessary information, uh, like uh, where you can use the support center, uh, where is the documentation located? Uh, you, you have also an option to create a ticket if you need the help. And also in this section, uh, we will be publishing uh, the most important tutorial videos that uh, might be really useful for you. Okay, let's move on to the next one, which is changelog. Uh, this one is well known for most of you as well, where we list all the changes, all the new features, bug fixes, etc. And the last one is the tools. Uh, this is the section where you can regenerate, 
files like the local CSS, local fonts, or delay the history from the beer builder. There's one more thing uh, that I should mention in the beginning of this video, but I just forgot. Uh, it's the dark mode. If you prefer to work with the dark mode, all you have to do uh, is click in the right top corner in the dashboard and the whole dashboard will switch to the dark mode. Hope you liked the video and you're gonna like our new BFM dashboard. Uh, please let us know in the comment section if you like the new dashboard or maybe there is something you would like to change. We are always open for your feedback. That is all for this video. Thanks for watching and remember to like, subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified every time we release a new video. If you have more questions, please visit our support center at support.muffingroup.com